Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to answer a question and question is application can't connect to SQL Server after failover. What would be the issue? Well, uh, there could be multiple issues, uh, but I have written down some common issues for you right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk about every one of them. Uh, uh, number one is there after failover, it's a new node. Uh, maybe during the first initial setup, the uh, communication between application server and failover node uh, um, also refer uh, a few folks uh, call it if it's an active passive, it's a passive node, or if it's active active, or whatever the case may be. But it's another node, it's another uh, uh, server. So maybe that communication between uh, them is not taking place. You can check that with uh, pinging the servers uh, from application server. Uh, to the failover node and from failover node to the application server. If that's working, then that's resolved. The second thing that you need to uh, find out is application configuration. So in application configuration, if the connection string that uh, connects to SQL Server is uh, configured as machine name, uh, the primary node, um, it's, a, it's a machine name and instance name of SQL Server rather than uh, actually cluster logical SQL Server name, then as soon as failover happens, uh, that machine name changes, uh, even though all the resources has gone to the failover cluster, your application is not going to connect when failover happens. So make sure uh, you check your, uh, uh, you ask your application folks that check your configuration manager. Whenever you configure a SQL Server that is part of the cluster, you should always configure all of your services and application using cluster logical SQL Server name rather than machine name backslash instance. So that's the second, uh, um, um, it could be the uh, issue. The third issue uh, could be that maybe uh, during the initial setup, the firewall uh, wasn't uh, open between application server and uh, your um, failover node. So fire, firewall may be blocking application to connect to failover node. So if that is the case, you need to talk to your networking guys or, or your system administrator to open the port, specific ports to have the communication and it goes back to the point one. If the communication is the failure, then you need to get other teams involved uh, and get that resolved. So these three um, points are the kind of high level uh, issues, uh, common issues. There could be other several issues, but uh, if you wanted to know more specific issues, then you need to find out the log of application or log of SQL Server, whatever the case may be. I hope it helps.